Well, an update now on a story we talked about last night. Tomorrow's swimming event in the Anacostia River, well, it's no longer happening. It's postponed. Our Casey Nolan is back on this story for us tonight. And Casey, we know the D.C. government approved of this rare swimming event. So why is it being called off the day before? Yeah, it is rare, though, because swimming in the Anacostia is prohibited. It has been for more than 50 years. This is a one-time only event that was supposed to celebrate the progress that has been made in cleaning up the river. But today, organizers said it's not safe, at least not like a piece of tape. Despite what you might see come in with the tide, DC says the health of the Anacostia River is moving in the right direction. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We don't see the level of trash and debris that we once saw in the river. And to celebrate that progress, some supporters were planning to swim in this water on Saturday. W would you swim in this river? Absolutely not. And ANC it's Commissioner really Kathy Henderson was pleading with her constituents not to do it. I understand your exuberance and your joy about the Anacostia. Uh, and one day the river will be at a, in a condition where we can splash in it and swim in it. Well, Saturday is not that day. With permission from the city, the nonprofit Anacostia Riverkeeper was planning a one time only 20 minute swim for ticket holders. But Friday they called off the event. The main concern with this water is E. coli. And as of late Friday, the group's sensors still showed the water as safe. But during Thursday's downpour, Anacostia Riverkeeper says some stormwater may have caused sewage to spill into the water. So the group is postponing the swim until sometime in September, a temporary victory for Henderson. We still have issues. We still have a ways to go before we can restore it to the health, the healthy waterway that it once was. Anacostia Riverkeeper says the reason they're concerned sewage may have gotten into the river is because some of the controls meant to prevent that were offline and for good reason. They had to be off while DC Water is completing the final stage of its Clean Rivers project, which when it's finished is expected to prevent about 98% of all overflows, eventually making the Anacostia a cleaner river. They say that work will be done by the time this swim is held in September. Lorenzo. Yeah, growing up in D.C., you're always told never get in the Anacostia River. Yeah. So it's tough for me to wrap my mind around actually taking a dip. In actually there. getting in that water? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. All right, Casey, <laughs> thank you.